Hello everyone. In this particular lecture, I'm going to explain the concept of sources in DBT. So to explain the concept, I'm going to use these two models. The first model is store.sql. In my first model, I'm extracting these columns from this table, which is located in my prod schema. In my second model, I'm extracting these columns from store underscore sales underscore 2023 table which is also located in my prod schema. So to introduce the concept of sources, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new file. In the training section, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this file as source underscore file underscore store dot yaml file so i will create a new file yaml file new yaml file and i'm going to place this in my yaml file so sources we are introducing the concept of sources name of my source is going to be let's say right now i have name it test let me just change the name here test underscore prod is going to be the name database is dbt underscore db schema is prod table name these are two tables that are located in my prod schema okay save this file now instead of using the schema name here i'm going to replace it with the source function so let me just give you the syntax of a source function. So this is the syntax from double curly brackets, then the source keyword, then the name of source. In this scenario, the name of my source is test underscore prod. Let me just change it to test underscore prod is the name. And my first table name is store underscore 2023 is the name. This is my name. I have to save this. So when I'm going to save this store.sql file, let me just preview the result. And then compile this code. Look from dbt underscore db dot prod dot store underscore 2023 okay let me just go to the lineage graph a new node has been added a new source node has been added and the name is test underscore prod name of source dot and this is the table name okay now likewise i'm going to include the source function in my second model which is this one i will replace this prod schema name and I will name this table name now save the result save this uh, model look a new model has been added with name test underscore prod dot this is the name of table okay let me just compile the result okay let me first review it preview it and then let me just compile the code and then compile it look prod dot uh, store underscore sales underscore 2023 this is the name of my table schema name and the database name so now next what I will do I will execute all these models so commit in sync let me just apply the commit commit changes and let me just execute all these models i will use the command dbt run to execute all these models so all models have been executed successfully a new table will be created let me just refresh it 
these two tables will be updated okay now now next what i will do i'm going to migrate right now my table is located in my prod schema i'm going to migrate these two tables in my new schema so i will create a new schema and this is going to be stj dot sch is going to be the name of my schema okay create schema and let me go to the schema uh, let me just refresh it and let me go to my new schema okay and let me just create these tables in my new schema so what right now i am doing i am creating these tables in my new schema and and i will include the new schema name in my yaml file look it has been created refresh it stj okay let me just refresh look these two tables have been created now let me just go to my prod schema and let me just drop these two tables from the prod schema drop table execute these two commands okay tables have been dropped these two tables have been dropped okay now now let me just close this let me just open the yaml file now here the schema is defined as prod here i have created a new schema and i have created these tables in my new schema now i want to change the name of schema so what i will do i will just change the name of my schema in my yaml file okay just copy this and paste it this is so simple so this is the benefit of uh, sources in dbt that if you are if you if you have migrated your tables in some other uh, schema instead of changing the schema name in the models all you need to do create a yaml file uh, create a name of your source uh, give the database name schema name tables and just change the name of schema okay in the yaml file you don't need to do anything else just change the name of schema in just one file look in this way i'll be able to execute these models from this schema now let me just open this close okay now commit and sync commit changes open the store.sql file preview the result compile the code look new schema name okay let me just open the yaml file the new schema name is stg underscore sch let me just open another file store underscore sales dot sql preview compile code look dbt underscore db dot stj underscore sch new schema name lineage let me just see the lineage graph look a new node has been added now let me just drop these two tables which are located in my dbt sqrashi schema so let me just go to my dbt underscore sqrashi okay delete the uh, drop these two tables okay i don't want to delete i want to drop these two tables 
dbt okay this is the name of my store underscore store sales okay store drop these tables okay these two tables have been dropped now i'm going to execute these two models just use the dbt run command so what will happen once these two models will be executed these three models will be executed here a new table will be created okay now execute these two tables have been created successfully and a view has been created with name store underscore sales underscore profit look store underscore sales underscore profit this is a view okay table name is going to be this store and store underscore sales so hope you understood the concept of sources uh, thank you so much and have a great learning